Today, we are going to make your Kale Club home. First, you'll need one of these, which we have kindly made for you. Look at that. Okay, so if you want your doghouse to have a front like mine does with the opening, making it look very realistic, you can take another piece of cardboard or even just some poster board, which you can find in the office. Take it, trace your house, Bada bing, bada boom. See those lines? My pencil ran away. Okay, now we can cut on this line. So easy. You could make your kids do this part. Or you could have this done and ready before they get there. So I'm drawing my door. You can make it any shape you want. This is probably too small. Guess what? We don't make mistakes here, just happy accidents. Flip it over, start over again, and oh, okay, better. Cut that out. Now I have a door for the front of my doghouse. Place that on there, grab some tape, any kind will do. Get a little piece, tape it on the front. I recommend doing this part before you cover the house with a pretty color because then it will all be constructed. If you don't want to do this step, you don't have to, although I happen to think it looks pretty doggone good with it. <laughs> so this is kind of a little bit jankety, but for a sample it's good enough, right? Mm. Yours will be even better because hey, I believe in you. Okay, so now I have put paper along the sides after measuring or tracing and even the bottom too because it may show depending on where it hangs on the wall so you want to go ahead and make sure that cardboard on the bottom is even covered up and not showing some ugliness if you have any seams like this that kind of showed maybe you didn't quite get the measurements right no big deal you can cover that up with some grass along the bottom like I've done here or maybe some other kind of creative idea so again happy accidents things like that happen, we can make that look even better by adding something else, okay? I'm ready now to cover the front. I've actually already skipped ahead and made the piece for it, all right, by tracing the back. Then I took my negative space, the door hole, and traced out the middle of it. Easy. You could have done that even before you taped it onto the cardboard, too. If you wrap it with roll paper, <laughs> you can do it that way also. Getting a little glue happy. Hey, a dot is a lot. That's what I tell the kids. Now, these are the kind of things you could do with or without the kids. You know your kennel club and you know what their abilities are. If you think they can handle this, do it with them. It'll be really fun for them to construct it and feel proud about what they built. If you don't think your kids can handle it, or if you don't have the patience to do it with children, get to this point first. All right. So now I've got the front on. This is your basic doghouse. Okay. Your next step is putting something on the inside. You might want to do that before you put the front on, but it's really not that hard to do if the front's on too. Okay. Now we have the front of the house. Works pretty good. You can cover it with paper now and make it beautiful. It might be a little bit stronger if you can find some cardboard to use. This part I would do first if you're going to choose to do it. Next, we're going to cover it with paper or you could even paint on it. So I would recommend covering this side, this side, and then if you chose to do the front, cover this somehow. You can wrap it with roll paper like you would for Christmas. You could even use Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> or just grab construction paper from the office lounge. Turn the house on the side. Trace it. Or if you're great with measuring, Okay, cut on my line that I just traced, or you can measure it. If you like everything perfect, I don't. Okay, guess what? Now we glue it along the sides. So easy. Don't have to try that hard to make this work. Okay, 
Again, you can roll it, make it look really awesome with roll paper, wrapping it around, taping it just like you would a gift. I put a paper on the back, but you really don't need to do that because no one's going to see it. These will be mounted on the wall, good to go. Hi, Ready? welcome back. I've done a costume change for you, especially because I was looking pretty shabby after the ice bucket challenge, I noticed. Anyways, we're making our doghouse still, still, and we are now needing to put a piece of paper like this inside so that you've got a nice bright pop of color for the inside part. We've already made a little guy like this too, so I can just show you all we did was trace, again, the back. We do that a lot. Okay, so to get it inside there, if you decided to do the front, I recommend kind of rolling it up a little bit, sliding it in, and just kind of manipulating it in there, okay? then you can do the glue part. Um, one thing you might think about is how you're going to be decorating this so you can go ahead and kind of get those things set for the kids or you could even wait and not put this paper in yet until they've already decorated it. Because on the inside you're going to want to have on your inside paper here, you're going to want to have a group photo, probably even one of yourself too. You're going to have some kind of a little personalized decoration made by each member that has their name clearly written on it too, or typed, whatever you like. Have them decorate it with stickers, you know, little fun foam stuff, glitter, that's what I like. And just kind of get those stuck around. So I've got my group photo here, and then all their little paw prints and their names. So they've all kind of had a chance to add their own touch. So after you've decided how that inside goes and you've got all that arranged, you're almost done with the basic necessities. The only other thing you really have to have is this bone. It's going to be where you have the name of your kennel club on it. You can write it by hand or you could type it, print it, and glue it on. And it's going to go, you know, maybe here or if you have another idea, no reason why you can't make it go a different direction, or if you've got something down at the bottom, it could be at the bottom. It's really up to you, but this is what your name will go on. Okay, so decide on a kennel club name, get it on the bone, put it here. Templates like these will be found in the office. You may use it to make the shape of your bone, and then leave it in the office for others to use. All right, now I've also cut my little strip of green paper, I just got it off the roll paper cart, which is found in Miss Dow's bathroom, oddly enough. This could go wrapped around and see how I've now hidden those little edges I missed before on the corners. So this is a great thing for kids to do because it's a good like fine motor skill, cutting fringe. And I'll tell you what, they love the heck out of doing this for some reason. Encourage them not to make it tiny like hair because then you'll be there all day. We only have 30 minutes for this activity, kids. Okay, so see how long it can take? We can go a little faster. Check it out. This is probably not safe. Okay, now I just need to rest that there and glue it on the sides. Um, other things you could think about adding. Maybe a little carpet. I have carpet on the inside of my doghouse like it's just, you know, cozy little home. So I just put some little blue felt on the inside there. So you just need to get a cheapy little sheet of felt and make it the right size by tracing the bottom of your box and setting it inside there with some Elmer's glue. You could make a dog bed. You could make little three-dimensional additions like butterflies or bees. These could even be done with stickers or whatever. It's just you know, if you're not somebody who likes to draw things out, cut them out and stuff, there's always somewhere where you can buy it already done. So don't feel like you have to go above and beyond. But I will say, the more you add to it, the more fun the kids are going to have, and they're going to be so proud when they see it out in the hallway and say, that's my kennel club. Okay? One more thing, the roof. Now, on mine, I chose to do felt because I liked the texture of it. But other things you could do, you could take your roll paper again, do the same tracing, measuring to make it be right. You could even crinkle it up to get you some texture. Um, you could take little squares of alternating colors, so like a little square of tan, a little square of the dark brown, and then do like pieces so it looks like little shingles over and over repetitively and come down the other side. Okay, so some kind of a different material along the top or at least a different color will help emphasize the angle of the roof and make it look more house-like. Alright, so 
pretty much we are all finished up here. This one's still looking a little bit raw, but you get the gist of it. Eventually, yours is going to look awesome and creative, a little bit more done like this. All the materials you're going to really have to have can be found in the office. Easy as that. We will also have some directions written up for you that uh, you can refer to through an email. And the box shapes themselves will already be made for you, like I said in the beginning, so you don't have to worry about that. Just get it decorated and beautiful. All right.